And a warm welcome from North London. We're at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal facing Leicester City. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I always get a buzz from being here. The players will feel the same, I'm sure. Fast start, always a good idea to impose yourself on the game straight from the off. Number 15. Ainsley Maitland Niles. Number 18, Thomas. And number 12, William. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Bernd Leno begins in goal. Thomas Partey starts alongside Danny Ceballos in the centre of the park. And the starting role in attack is handed to Alex Lacazette. how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the centre of midfield. And this man is usually good for a goal or two. Leading the attack is Jamie Vardy. Thank you for attending the Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the match. Well, this game should offer plenty. Arsenal get it going. Thomas. And now with Aubameyang. David Luiz. It's with William. Lacazette. Thomas now. At times they make passing look easy. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Tielemans. Now indeedy. Plenty of options. Vardy. Tierney. Lacazette. Disappointing control, and they've lost the ball. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Ndidi. Surely! And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact. Does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. David Luiz, Thomas, Bernd Leno, Gabriel, Danny Ceballos, now William, Lacazette, intelligent threaded pass here, and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately. Vardy He's going forward well here 
And a free kick awarded by the referee. Delivered into the box. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Perez. Tauti defending to win the ball back. Ndidi. Madison. Chance for Barzi! Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Well, he knows they've missed a golden opportunity to extend the lead there, but they're still in the lead, not all doom and gloom. David Luiz. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. And William whips it in. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Lacazette. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Well, Arsenal have had total domination as far as possession is concerned. But they have to create more. They have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Lacazette. Ceballos. Here's William. Oh, what an opportunity. They had to react and did. Chalar Zayunchu. Now Ndidi. Vardy. And it's played into the centre. And the danger is still there. Threat over for now, it seems. With that, the first half draws to a close. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Tielemans. Timothy Castagna. Vardy. And Ayose Perez with it. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Oh, nice ball over the top. David Luiz coming out on top. Thomas. Now well, he's given us away. Madison. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, they keep passing away. Can they get in behind them? Now, indeed, he. Evans. Mastery of the passing game. Vardy. Could play it in. A super tackle and they've won possession. Thomas. It's with Danny Ceballos. Saka well, no luck keeping possession well they couldn't keep it playing with purpose and control Thomas and showing fine vision it comes to absolutely nothing
And it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. And now William coming into it. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. And a chance to level it. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Indeedy. James Madison. Arsenal have it back. And he's in. And it's gone in. Beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. Well, it's not easy being a manager, and that's why they've let him down a bit there. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Well, that is how to play advantage. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Well, showing good vision. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. A glorious chance. And it's in! Well, Derek, that tells you all you need to know about this group. Group of players, great team spirit, fantastic stuff. Well, Derek, the keeper's not going to want to see the replay of this. Completely caught out at his near post. Shocker. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. And the substitution will occur now. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, can these Arsenal players respond to the amazing energy from the fans? It's electric in here right now, trying to urge their team forward to get back into this game. And Kessia. Thomas. How can they find a late leveller? Granit Xhaka. There to win it back. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Tielemans. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And the alarm bells are ringing. Thomas. So the referee's whistle means full time and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Lee, your thoughts? Yeah, there was not much in it for most of the game. I'm sure they'll feel they deserved at least a point from that. It's obviously very disappointing to concede in the manner they did so late on, but they just have to bounce back now. Well, one man who acquitted himself well out there, Jamie Vardy. Lee, sum up for us what you thought about his contribution. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.